Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing good this evening. Um, it's kind of real hot and muggy out here right now. <laughs> but uh, praise God, it's been a good day. I've just been doing some staining, sanding, sanding some logs today and staining. And just doing that, I was thinking about earlier, you think about, um, there's a scripture in Ecclesiastes that come to my mind. I was thinking about, you know, because you think about the economy right now. You hear a lot with the economy. They're talking about interest rates going up and all this stuff. And in the last few years, we've had had all this stuff going up, going on with the sicknesses and things like this. And it's just slowed a lot of people down. You know what I mean? And made a, let's say like some people just keep trucking along, but most pe a lot of people they're real, you know, just sketchy right now. It's slowing some people down. You can see things possibly slowing down. You hear things. You know, you start to learn about how they, how they kind of put the brakes on the economy on purpose with these interest rates. You know, the the banks and the Federal Reserve and things like that. And you start to see how that some of that works. And you know, I just think about. For one, it just makes me so happy to under to know that you know God is my provider, Jehovah Jireh, God my provider. You know, and I was thinking of that scripture earlier in Ecclesiastes 11. It says, he that observes the wind shall not sow. And he that regardeth the clouds shall not reap. <laughs> you know what I mean? He that regard so you think about that and it's like, if you're always constantly out there, oh, it's going to rain or whatever, you might not get up and go to work. Or you might not. Well, I think about that even with this kind of stuff with the economy. Well, this is going to happen. Oh, I better not go and do this. I better not make a move. I better stop what I'm doing. Like if someone was working on something or well i'm not going to work on this project now they're saying the economy is going to do this you know he observes the wind when you're constantly looking at the news all the time and doing things like that well you just may not reap <laughs> you know you may not reap if it's going to stop you from laboring and things like that then um you know i don't know i just think you still got to keep on trucking along you know but then thinking about laboring you know it, it says in the bible it says uh the work the sleep is sweet to a working man whether he eats little or much that's what it says in ecclesiastes too you know sleep is sweet to a working man whether he eats little or much you know and just thinking about you know just why let anything stop you from going about your daily duties and doing what you got to do i don't know i'm just thinking about that i think about it with the lord you know and then chasing worthless pursuits i think about you know that it says that in proverbs it says he who uh gathers by labor increases but he who come who chases worthless pursuits will come to poverty let's see how does it say it it says uh proverbs thirteen eleven, wealth gotten by vanity shall be diminished but they he that gathereth by labor shall increase you know it's it's like what i've been saying not a lot lately is you know make it our goal to lead a quiet life to work with our own hands that we may be able to share with those in need and things like this just kind of practical things and you know you think about that how it says in a clay it is sleep is sweet to a working man when you get up and you work it's it's uh you do you have you'll sleep good if you go and work hard you know and um i've always kind of believed that you know i'm a healthy eater and things like that that a lot of our sicknesses and things going on today people ain't you figure people ain't sweating like they used to i mean for years and years and years there wasn't air conditioning there wasn't even electric i mean maybe until a couple hundred years ago or even not even a couple hundred years ago so you know people didn't have the things they have nowadays the luxuries in a sense it, it would have definitely been a luxury to them to have air conditioning and a car with air conditioning some people ain't hardly ever in it and hardly sweating and sweating's the way you detox your body you know so when you get out there and working hard you're getting a lot of toxins out of your body and you know i've heard stories about people that had cancer that go and eat very healthy and work 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 fasting and working hard to sweat and sweat things out you know so anyway i don't know just thinking about you know, just thinking a little bit about labor and just practical things, you know what I mean? Practical things that God gives us to do that's really good for us, you know. We have so many conveniences in this world, you know, conveniences that seem to, it seems like there's a price to pay for convenience, you know what I mean? Like every, every, um, like you hear about microwave, it, it's a very fast way to cook a lot of foods and heat things up and stuff like that, but you hear it, that joker gets to like 700 and something, and it's like radiation, it basically like, nukes your food in a sense gets a lot of people said there ain't hardly any nutrients in it when you cook it in it's just a lot of things like fast food and 
things like that you go and eat it and you're you're trading real quality food you know and that's one of the ways i look at eating is like food to have food quality not just food quantity but quality and 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 so you know i don't look at it like it's some big command or doing it for a religious thing or something like that but i want to i look at the health care system like a sick care system you know and i believe food's a health care I believe that's health care is, is eating healthy and things like that. So that's why I try to eat uh, eat healthy and things like that and want to do do what's right by that because I at least want to have a quality life while I'm here. I'm not trying to live the long, you know, yeah, if you live longer, praise God. But if you don't, but I, at least while you're here, you want to feel good. Like I don't want to eat something at lunch it's gonna make me crash and you know i know how eating unhealthy how bad i used to feel compared to how i do now so you know i'm looking at it like quality of life you know while you're here your life being quality so anyway that's enough of that but just thinking about the labor you know and think about that i mean when we even things with the lord there's a lot of things people look at the clouds they look at oh well what's going on is so and so going to say this or say that you know what i mean we we don't so we don't we don't sow and we don't do what we need to do a lot of times because we're the same way we're looking at the circumstances or you know what i mean we're inspecting what has happened what's not you know but we know that one one sows and one waters but it's god that causes the increase he does that we're just to sow and water plant the seeds sow the seeds you know what i mean be out there and, and it's god and do it in faith and speaking of faith, you know, I'm so glad that we can have our hope and our trust and our faith in Christ and in Christ alone. I mean, constantly, I can't tell you how many times you see people in Christians and they'll, um, you know, adding on to, well, you got to do this too to be in Christ. You got to do, you know, well, people say they're Christian, but they ain't doing this. They ain't doing A, B, C, D. And I think like, well, you know, who shall separate us from the love of God? So so persecution famine distress anything what can separate us from the love of god and and even in acts whenever whenever they were trying to lay burdens on them they were telling them they had to be circumcised they didn't go and tell them oh yeah you got to do even a lot of things people tell you you have to do today they was telling them uh they said look we just write to you that you you abstain from blood from food sacrificed to idols stay away from fornication and things like that if you do them you're doing good that's what they said. They didn't say, you know what I mean? They went. They said, we don't. We find it beneficial and the Holy Ghost too, not to lay any burden on you, not any other burden than that. You know what I mean? They weren't trying to add all living, you know what I mean, to in Christ alone, whether it's A, B, C, D. I'm just so thankful that we can have trust in Him and faith in Him and hope in Him, no matter what someone says. Someone might say, well, no, you got to do this tradition. You got to do that. If you ain't doing this, you ain't got to. Well, you can't say you're a Christian and you don't do this, A, B, C, D, whatever it is. Whatever it is. And if you'll notice, anybody that ever says that, they only say the things that they do. They don't say you got to do something they don't do. You know, it's almost like that in Romans 2. It says, you who judge others, you, do you judge yourself? You that say that, that, that someone shouldn't steal, do you steal? You who that say that someone shouldn't do this? You know, they're always, it's always like, it's like, what are you really doing? Are you saying I'm not saved? Or are you just boasting in the things you do? You know what I mean? People will be like, well, you know, I can't believe someone say they're a Christian and they don't do this. And it's something they do. You know what I mean? They don't say what they don't do. You know, why not? We're supposed to boast in our weaknesses. You know, let he who boasts, boast in the Lord. That's what I mean. It's in Christ alone. My hope is in him alone. It's not in, I do this. I do this plus Jesus. Why? Well, I, I, how are you saved? Well, this plus, it's not that. It's I'm saved in Christ and in Christ alone. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, I just want to tell you, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Just continue to seek the things above Look, our hope is in Christ alone. There's salvation in no other name given under heaven by which man must be saved. It's in Christ and in Christ alone. Continue to grow in Him. Grow in Him. Be rooted and grounded in Him. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.